ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಅತಿಂ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುಧಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗಪವಧು ಶಿವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗ್ರ ಸಾರುಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಠಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ಭರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವಿ ಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಸಿ ಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे नाहम इज्जा प्रजापतिभ्याम तपसो अपसमे उपसमे नमः नाहम इज्जा प्रजातिभ्याम तपसो उपसमे नमः तुस्यम सर्वभूतात्मा गुरु शुष्य सयाज था गौरीय गोष्ठीपति सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपा परमंशु जगदगुरु टोल्ड दैट यू प्रॉमिस मी दैट यू कैन डू हरि भजन यू प्रॉमिस मी दैट यू कैन डू हरि भजन दैट्स वाई यू गिव यू हरि नाम एंड एवरीथिंग नाउ यू लाइक टू चीट मी वॉट इज दिस गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर भोपा परमश जगदगुरु सेट दैट यू ऑलरेडी प्रॉमिस्ड मी दैट यू कैन डू भजन दैट्स वाई आई गिव यू हरि नाम एवरीथिंग टू यू ना यू लाइक टू चीट मी यू आर नॉट डूइंग भजन यू लाइक टू चीट मी वाई ओ पाथ सेट दैट इफ द whole world going against me those who are going to claim that they are my disciple one by one if they are going to leave me still i am not going to stop speaking about their absolute truth standing under the Umbrella like lotus feet of Guru Path, but no same absolute truth can can speak. Those who are going to take shelter of Gauriya Math with some duplicity, they are not actually going to take shelter of Gauriya Math. Just to take undue advantage. of this dibba gyan available in goriamat they are going to come and after that they like to take undue advantage of that opportunity of taking shelter on to lotus feet of goriamat they like to misuse the divine knowledge available how to misuse divine knowledge that you will have to realize you can misuse your divine knowledge very easily it is very easy to misuse divine knowledge means you can take the title you can take the reputation of guru vishnu i am the disciple of that guru path of the disciple of guru ma gauriya ma and after that you can take all advantage i mean you can collect all lap puja pratishtha everything that you can do very easily it is very easy to collect money position everything so easy that's why most of the people they like to take undue advantage of taking diksha from prabhupad i mean from goriam at this way proba speaking genuine diksha genuine diksha and so called diksha is not same to get dibba gyan to get dibba gyan is some something else to get the book gyan is called diksha and those who are not going to develop the book gyan i mean those who are so called diksha not genuine diksha they cannot get right in bhagavat seva they cannot get any right in bhagavat seva what they can get they can get some sukriti only they cannot in true sense they cannot get any right in bhagavad seva 
only they can get some sukriti only they can get many time prabhupada used to say guru vaishnav can reserve the right of giving punishment or kipa sometime can show love to you sometime can give punishment to you both they can do they reserve the right of giving punishment or kripa to you of course when guru vishnu is going to give punishment there is also kripa sometime but anyway bhagwan sri krishna speaking that those who want to get the book gyan from guru pad padma their nature their behavior their characteristics are all has some speciality bhagwan sri krishna speaking in you know bhagwan ji mahapran about that what type of guru you can accept whom you can accept as guru and who can take actual shelter on to lotus feet of guru bhag i mean who can become a disciple all siddhams bhagwan sikhism is speaking actually from chaitanya charitamrita we know the case of you know the case of ishar puripad we know the case of ishar puripad he has taken diksha from madhavanda puri at the same time Ramchandra Puri also have, he can claim that he has taken diksha. Okay, he can also claim that he has taken diksha from Madhavendra Puri because he has taken diksha. But actual, but actual diksha was not there with Ramchandra Puri. Ishar Puri Pad, his diksha was. genuine diksha i mean eternal parshad also you can say of madhavendra puripad so before leaving body madhavendra puripad going to bless him 100% full is written there madhavendra puripad going to bless him full blessing so by the mercy of guru pad padma he is developing all the qualities that guru had but eternal presence of guru has you can say all the qualities i mean same whatever vipralamba baba whatever prema whole everything siddhant again everything whereas ramchandra puri was totally rejected by guru pad padma when guru pad padma going to reject disciple then his condition become very painful better not to take diksha but after taking diksha if somehow if you do offense and such offense the guru dev become very feeling very heavy in that case the condition of disciple become very very painful that's why in guruvastakam you can find vishna chakotiva writing josho prasadat bhagavat prasado josho aprasadat nagutikuto op what do you mean by this josho prasadat bhagavat prasado if you are going to get kipa of guru pad padma be sure you are going to enjoy the kipa of bhagavan the same thing If you are going to enjoy the full kipa of Guru Pad Padma, hundred percent sure, that is the kipa of Bhagwan. So Vishnu Chakravarti is giving us warning: Josho Prasadat Bhagavat Prasado, Josho Aprasadat. Meaning, if Guru Pad Padma become dis, meaning feeling dissatisfaction due to my different behavior. in that case i cannot get any place anywhere in the 14 world in the 14 world nowhere i can get any place place mean nobody can like me 
even demigods, even Gandharva, nowhere, Nagatu Kutu Nobody can favor you. Everybody can reject you. It's the painful condition. So was the condition of Ramchandapuri very fearful because he wanted to express his adversity to give advice to Guru Patma. Now you understand. He wanted to express his adversity to give advice to Guru Patma. Guru Patma was crying due to his Vipralamba Baba. I am not getting Krishna. So crying, shedding tears. But that foolish disciple going to advise to Guru Padma, you are Brahma. Why you are crying? You should feel that you are Brahma. Stop crying. When he is going to advise Guru pa Gurudev this way, you are Brahma. Why you are crying? By expressing this kind of mood, by expressing this kind of mood, he is making a great offense unto the Lord's Vida Guru Padma. At the same time, he is going to prove, at the same time, he is going to prove that he is Mayavadi. This word is going to prove Mayavadi, na? Devotional line, nobody can speak this way. You are Brahma. Brahma who can say. Mayavadi can speak Brahma. We are devotee. Then when Guru Padma speaking, you can get lost from me. You can get lost. Eh? You can get lost. Don't come to me. If I see your face, I cannot, I cannot leave my body properly. So you get lost. Anywhere you can go. Very south and... After that, the condition of Ramchandapuri become very painful. He fall down. He is even going to find out the fault of Vaishnavas. And not only Vaishnava, but also he is going to find fault with Paratpara Kileshwar, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the result. This is the result when Guru Padma is going to ignore you. That is a fearful result. Then he is going to find fault with Paratwara Krishna, Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya. He is going to find fault with devotees. He is giving prasadam. Oh, you take more. No, no, you take. After that, when the prasadam is over, he is going to criticize. You are taking so much prasadam. He is giving. With, ah, you should take more. Giving. After that prasadam, oh, oh, you are taking so much. You are, you are, you are a renunciate. You are taking so much prasadam. How you can maintain your, you know, bhairagya? This way, Always going to criticize Guru Vaishnava. Always. And also going to find fault with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to give honor to, because this Guru Bhargava anyway, but he is going to find fault with Mahaprabhu. He is speaking so greedy. One sannyasi is so greedy. Eh? Mahaprabhu cannot. Mahaprabhu cannot give answer. What happens? Ants are moving around. So ants are moving around, naturally man is moving around. But he is going to point out that the sannyasi, I mean Mahaprabhu is so greedy that he must have taken some sweet thing night time. That's why in the morning time all uh, ants are moving around. So this way, it's going to fall down. This is a big problem. Now, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, uh, another point I can speak from Chaitanya Lila so that you can realize how sophisticated, how, sophisticated, how sophisticated the heart of Vaishnava, I mean the Sevak of Vaishnava. How sophisticated is the heart of a uh, Sevak of Gurudev or Bhagavan? So sophisticated. He can realize whatever they are inside the heart of Gurudev, can realize everything. Nobody can make fool of him. Any external information, wrong information, cannot misguide him. 
any kind of wrong external information cannot misguide him. He is guided by the Supreme Divinity, Bhagavan. Follow. So, Guru Seva Khoi Manoji Amar. If I can find one genuine Sevak, servant, I mean Sevak of Guru Padma, is really he can get honor from me. It is the rules. Mahaprabhu teaching us. Guru Seva Khoi Manoji Amar. Govindo, actually, Govindo coming to Mahaprabhu to serve Mahaprabhu by the order of by the order of Ishwar Puripad. Ishwar Puripad before living body, Ishwar Puripad before living body, he already told you, told him that when I leave body, you can go to Sri Krishna Chaitanya and serve him. According to that order, he is coming to serve. Mahaprabhu, but Mahaprabhu is going to express some anxiety, external, that how I can allow him to serve me, because he used to serve my Guru Pātpadma. The servant of Guru Pātpadma can enjoy full, key, full you know, honour. So how I can? Then Sarvamurta Jaja told, Prabhu, Agya Guru Namhi Abhichare Palaniya. The order of Gurudev should be given first priority. The order of Gurudev should be given first priority. What was the order? Gurudev told, after I leave my body, you can go and serve Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He told. That's why he's coming. So Sarvam is just speaking. Gurudev already given order, so no problem, you can accept it. But point is there, the mood of the mood of seva of Govindo is remarkable. The mood of seva of Govindo is remarkable. Govindo don't like to understand anything. He always busy with the interest of Prabhu. If he cannot arrange proper prasadam for Prabhu, proper rest, he likes to arrange. If he cannot do, he becomes very angry. That's why it is written, he is, he is called second Sachima. It is written in Chaitanya Jyotamita that Govindo is second Sachima. First Sachima is there. He is always going to express anxiety regarding the seva, perfection of Mahaprabhu. Always. He is less interested about anything. So, the nickname, the nickname of Govindo was Second Sachima. Always he is busy with Seva. Mahaprabhu one day after taking prasadam, Mahaprabhu one day after taking prasadam, going to the small room Gamira, you know, and going to take rest. It was the rules. It was the rules. Every day, Mahaprabhu used to take rest and Govindo, it was the rule, Govindo coming and messaging the leg of Prabhu. It was the general rules. So naturally, when Mahaprabhu taking rest in the gate, gate, gate well, very low all Mahaprabhu. Then Govindo coming to message the leg of Prabhu. On those days, it was the rules. But at present, nobody can imagine. It was a rule. Kashi Mishra was a guru of the king of Orisha. I mean, Raja Prathabhrudu, Kashi Mishra. When king used to come here from Katak kingdom to Puri, so long as he is going to stay here, every day it was a rule, he used to go to the house of Guru Padma, I mean Bhajan Kutir. Every day he used to message the leg of Gurudev. It was the rule. We also used to leg the message of mother, father, by which they became tired. This was the rule. At present, this rule is not there. So Govinda also very much interested to message the lotus feet of Prabhu. But Prabhu is there in the gate, he cannot go. 
Govinda requesting Prabhu, 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 what happened? You just give me sight so that I can go inside to, to massage your leg. Mahaprabhu was speaking, now my body is very tired. I cannot uh, move my body. You can go, I cannot go, that's up to you. You can go, I cannot go, that's up to you, but I, anyway I cannot move my body. My body is very tired. <laughs> then Govindo, what done? When Mahaprabhu not giving any space to go inside the room to, ma do, to do seva, then Govindo going to put his own bahirvas, I mean cloth, on the body of Mahaprabhu and going to cross over Mahaprabhu, which is impossible. Which is impossible, we should not do it. But Prabhu, even the shadow of Tulsi, Guru Vishnu, we cannot cross. Shadow, what to speak about crossing? Mahaprabhu Paratparagasa Bhagavan is going to cross and go inside and messaging the leg of Mahaprabhu. After that, Govinda messaging and sitting there and Mahaprabhu a little bit opening eyes. Hey, you are sitting here still now. Why not going to take prasadam purposely? Mahaprabhu asking to express the mood of seva, idealism of seva. This was the mood. Govinda speaking, how I can go? You are sitting in the gate. You foolish, how you came inside? How you came in a similar way you could go? Mahaprabhu giving answer, the same way you are coming inside, the same way you could go. But Govinda not giving answer. So our Guru Varga is going to teach us, our Guru Varga is going to teach us that when Govindo came inside, then that time the question of Seva was there. When Govindo came inside, the question of Seva was there, involved. That's why he took risks to come inside. But when he is going to take prasadam, that is personal interest. That's why you cannot take risks. So it is written in Chaitanya Chaitamito, Seva is my fixed rules. So to do Seva, if I need to go to hell, reach hell, then I also can. I can go. That's all. But I need Seva. So you see the mood of Seva. Similar way, the Seva mood of Jagadananda. Seva mood of Jagadananda. How nicely Jagadananda used to serve Mahaprabhu. Jagadananda going to bring some scented oil, Ayurvedic oil, for Mahaprabhu to apply on a brain, I mean here, because Mahaprabhu is feeling you know, some problem, going faint, this, that, murcha. So it's going to. So Jagadananda coming from Bangla, I'm going to hand over the pot of oil to Govindo and requesting him that you can apply this oil on the head of Prabhu. So when Govindo requesting Mahaprabhu, the Jagadananda bring some Ayurvedic oil from Bangla, so he requests you to use this oil. So he can become very happy. Mapo become angry. Yes. This is the reason for why I have taken sannyas. We can get oil on my head. Eh? It's very good. And everybody can say that I am mixing with woman. Everybody can this is Dari Sannyasi. So Jagadananda become very upset. One day Jagadananda coming in front of Prabhu. Prabhu requesting him, Jagadananda, you have taken trouble to bring the wild pot long way from Bangla. It's very high. But anyway, I am sannyasi, I cannot use it. What to do? Better you can use it for Jagannath lamp, you know. Jagadananda, Jagadananda become angry. Who told you I bring oil? Who told you I bring oil? Is going to take the pot of oil and going to throw it in the veranda. It break and all around oil and go inside the room and lock the room. 
not opening. Become angry because Prabhu is not going to accept my seva. Then Mahaprabhu is going to request him, Jagadananda, what happens? You open, not opening. After three days, Mahaprabhu, that he is not opening his gate, not talking, not eating, not drinking, nothing. Then finally, Mahaprabhu is going to reach the doorside and speaking, Jagadananda, uh, today I can take prasadam in your hand. So I am going to take bath in Samandar, sea, ocean. I am going to take bath in ocean. I can come back and take prasadam in your hand. Then what happens? Immediately, when Mahaprabhu gone, Jagadananda opened the door and copying, Rama in Nandai, please come quickly. Mahaprabhu can take prasadam within fraction of second when we arrange everything. Prasadam. Follow. This is called Seva Mood. This is called Seva Mood. So, Guru Seva is not a matter of joke. Everybody cannot do Guru Seva. Guru Seva is not a matter of joke. Everybody cannot do Guru Seva. Yesterday I was speaking about one sloka, Achajyur Aranir Adyo Shat Ante Vaoshi Uttar Arani Tat Pravachanam Sandhyanam Vidya Sandhi Sukhavaha. I was speaking yesterday. And also I was speaking, it is just like two wooden logs when dry two, two die, when two dry wooden logs going, going to friction, then if it is dry, fire stored inside that wood in the form of sunlight is catch already, then the fire can come out. Then further fire can come out. Bhagavan speaking this to Uddhav that actually Gurudev is the upper log and lower is disciple. By this example, Bhagavan wanted to say that. Disciple coming in front of Gurudev, if, if actually he is going to surrender unto a lotus feet of Guru Path Padma, if, if disciple is going to surrender, surrender unto a lotus feet of Sadguru, which is more practical, in that case Gurudev can give the Bhagyan inside the heart of disciple is possible for him. In the when Gurudev speaking Harikatha, when Gurudev speaking Harikatha, it is written, Achajar Anani Addo Shad Ante Bhashi Uttar Arani Tat Prabhachanam Sandhyanam. Prabhachan means Harikatha. His Prabhachan is Harikatha. And after hearing, disciple hearing Harikatha, full attention with serving mood. Vidya Sandhi Sukhavaha. Then it is possible that the fire of Dibhagyan can flash out. Dibhagyan, I mean the fire of knowledge can flash out immediately outside. In that case, disciple can get Dibhagyan. This is the procedure. Bhagavan Sikh is speaking to Dhab. There is Vidya and Avidya both. This is called Dibbo Gyan. a very high thing. Vidya and Avidya, two types of things are there. Two types of things. Avidya can put you in confusion. Avidya always can put you in confusion, illusion. Because Maya. Abhidya can help you to understand what is not that you can understand, you can accept is as, as true. What is not true, you can accept is as true. That is the function of Mayadevi. How this procedure is happening? How it is happening? 
that one bonded soul going to think, this my body, mind, all my, this whole world is all object of my enjoyment, how they are feeling, how our bonded soul going to feel. This is a very, very important thing. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav that one should accept such a guru who is verse about me, who has full knowledge about me. Mad abhigyam gurum shantyam upashito madatmakam. With some pariprasno. First of all, Bhagavan speaking, if somebody is not going to feel the sarup of enjoyment, Bhagavan speaking, speaking to Uddha, Uddha, nobody can avoid enjoyment, material enjoyment. Nobody can avoid material enjoyment, it is not possible. When he can realize the sarup, the sarup of enjoyment, this is the naked sarup, this is the naked sarup of enjoyment. Then and only then, he can stop enjoyment, not before that. When he can realize the sarup of this material enjoyment, only then it is possible for him to avoid enjoyment, not before that. I mean, by the mercy of Guru Padma, when you can realize the sarup of your material enjoyment, only and only, then you can realize the sarup of material enjoyment. And different kind of dream. Because those bonded soul, they are living in dreamland. Bonded soul, they are living in dreamland. They are as if they are in dreamland. Always they are in dreamland. One after another, one after another, they are going to plan, they are going to do everything. All the activities are guided by Maya Devi, not by Guru Dev. So, Bhagavan speaking, Madhavigyam Gurum Santam Upasito Madatmakam. Madatmakam Mane, who? The heart of Guru Padma, I mean, Madatpakam means Gurudev not going to think anything except me. Gurudev, one Sadguru, what is the symptom of Sadguru? Symptom of Sadguru is that, Prabhupada speaking, all the 24 hours, all the 24 hours, if you find that your Gurudev is absorbingly in Seva, when you can discover, that your Gurudev is all the 24 hours absorbingly in Seva. Like we have seen Guru Pad Padma, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, this way. Externally you can see they are doing nothing, mala. But they are absorbingly in Seva, Seva mood. Internally they are engaged in Seva all the time. Like the case of Prabhupada. All the time, Prabhupada speaking Harikatha, writing different kind of article, all the time, no gapping. You cannot discover any gapping in the life of Guru Padma when he is going to take rest and now I retired. I've done bhajan, now I'm going to rest, not that. Uh, retiring, not that. That's why Prabhupada speaking, the symptom of Sadguru is there. All the 24 hours, you can discover your Guru Padma is busy with all Seva, all the time with Seva. No time. No gapping. That is the symptom. And Guru Padma always thinking about me, my Seva. That's why Bhagavan speaking, Madatmagam, Madhavigyam. First of all, Krishna speaking, Madhavigyam. He should have experience about me. I mean, 
how I am, what is my plan, Javanaham Jathababu Yudru, Yadrupu Guna Karmaka. All you should have clear about, about idea about Tattagyan, everything. Madhavigyam, Shantam. First title, Mad Abhigyam. He should have full experience about me. I mean, who am I? What is my desire? All like and dislike, every suit. So, Mad Abhigyam Guru. First point. Second point, Shantam. Shantam means who can become Shanta? Shantam is peaceful, tranquil. Only and when, only and only when you are totally out of material enjoyment, mood, matter, then and only you can become peaceful, not because then. That's why Narottama Dhaku writing Kirtan, that's why Narottama Dhaku writing Kirtan, that's why Narottama Dhaku writing Kirtan, what Kirtan? Ar kabe nitai chader koruna hoive. Vishay Vashana Mur Kabe Tuchya Habe. Vishay Shariya Kabe Shuddha Habe Mur. Kabe Ham Herava Sivindavan. So he line me first. Our first point, Our Kabe Nitai Chadar Koruna Habe. When I can, when I can enjoy the Kripa of Nityananda Prabhu. Our Kabe Nitai Chadar Koruna Habe. Vishay Vashana Mur Kabe Tuchya Habe. All the material desire can go away like garbage from my life. All material desire can go outside. I can throw, I mean automatically go outside like garbage. So, our kabe nitai chadir koruna hoibe, bishay vasana mur kabe tuchya hoibe. Second line, Vishay Shariya Kabe Shuddha Habe Moon. When matter can go away from me, my heart. Vishay Shariya Kabe Shuddha Habe Moon. Try to understand. Vishay Shariya Kabe Shuddha Habe Moon. When my heart can become pure, I mean, all, no matter, no smell of matter can be there. All, fully pure. Fully pure, one. When my heart can become fully pure, Vishay Shariya Kabe Suddha Habe Mon, after the speaking, Kabe Ham Herava Sivindavan. So chain wise, when matter can go away, heart can become full pure by the mercy of Nityananda. After that, the question, after that, the, after that, the question, after that, the question of, question of going to Vrindavan can arise. Not before that. With contaminated mood, contaminated heart, one can move around Vrindavan, but it is not actually Vrindavan. They are moving around the material place. But Vrindavan is exclusive thing. Vrindavan they cannot. So, Narutama Thakur is going to discuss this way. So, Shantam means, Shantam means free of, totally, completely free of matter. That's why in Chaitanya Chaitanya you can find, Krishna Bhakta Nishkam Atev Shanto. Why Krishna Bhakta is tranquil, peaceful, why? What is the reason? Krishna Bhakta is Nishkam, no desire. That's why they are peaceful. Desire means Anna Vilas, Anna Vilas means Anartha, Anartha means anxiety, anxiety means your excitement. Anxiety can help you to develop excitement. Uh, what will happen? What will happen? What I can do? Follow, what do you say? There is a condition. So, Santam means Krishnadas Kupitak Goswami writing, Krishna Bhakta Nishkam Atev Shanto. Krishna Bhakta in his calm. That's why he is peaceful. Bhukti Mukti Shiddhi Kami Shakali Ashanto. Very often Bharati Maharaj used to speak this. 
Bhukti, Mukti, Shiddhi Kami, Shakali Asantho. Bhukti, Mukti, Shiddhi Kami, Shakali Asantho. Bhukti means those who are in favor of enjoying mood. Bhukti, enjoying mood. Bhukti, Mukti, those who like to get Mukti. No question of seva. I like to get free of trouble. Bhukti, Mukti, Shiddhi Kami. Those who like to get Siddhi. Different kind of Siddhi, you know. Different kind of Siddhi. Even in our Gorya society, some foolish people, they are going to do some Siddhi. Follow. Foolish. They are less interested about Bhakti. Siddhi means different kind of Siddhi can be there. Bhakti means Siddhi can. Follow. This way they are going to Siddhi. Some of them can do in, in such a way that money can come to them. Sometimes they can de develop Siddhi, say that they can overpower you. Your personality cannot stand. He can overpower. Hypnotize you. Eh? You know what devotion they are doing? To love, to get love. Anyway, they cannot get love puja padishtha. Anyway, they cannot get actual love puja padishtha. Try to understand what I mean to say. They can get love puja padishtha, but stool and urine. Actual love padishtha, love, love puja padishtha, they cannot get. Actual La Pudishtha, Vaishnavi Pudishtha, they cannot get. They are getting. So their life is interested about it. They are doing some Siddhi so that they can overpower you. This way they are going to control. Making their market, you know, market, you know, popularity market, they are making this way. So many things. In market, in Vrindavan, different men, they are speaking Bhagavad Katha. Nothing there. If you hear the whole Bhagavad Katha, even one line you cannot find any important. You can write in diary. I am going to speak today. One line you cannot be important. But whole people going there. They are enjoying popularity. Their way of representation is so nice, sweet. Everybody can come. They are making some siddhi. I went there long ago. Maybe 50, uh, 15, 16 years back, I heard one intern, they speak like that. I am not foolish to speak like that. They say he is international sadhu. I am not speaking. They say, I say, I heard he is coming to, right, coming to recite some special you know, Bhagavad you know, chapter. So I thought thousands of people doing going there. So let me check up for at least for half an hour because I wanted to get some experience, nothing else. I wanted to get experience so that I can use it in my life, in my actual preaching. Now today I discover all Rishikesh Maharaj, these Maharaj, they, they wanted to engage me in, in different exclusive seva. Which is not necessary. They say, Prabhu, you can go to Narottama part there in North Bengal and there ask them what they are doing actually, you can get information properly. So I used to go there. They are giving order to their procedure of bhajan, they are claiming the how, what they are doing. You have experience, you go, try to know. You can mix with them in such a way, like, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> So you can go, try to get the extract. They used to go. So many places they used to send me. Follow. So I used to go there. I used to go there because of their advice. So I went there out of my curiosity. At that time age was low. So I thought, okay, let me see what speaking. I went there. I stand. So many crowded. There is no place. So crowded. And the sadhu coming with goggles, you know, black goggles. Black goggles is going to, you know, there in the stage. Nobody can watch his mood. He's wearing black goggles. So that nobody can watch his mood. So clever. He's going there in the stage. After Sam doing, after, after the Jayadhani, 
After that, started bandana of Ramji because he was originally from Ramanandi Sadhu. He is not Gauriya Sadhu, but everybody going there. Even he has no access in Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavat is the treasure of Gauriya Vaishnava. But he is Ramanandi. His treasure is Raman. But people so foolish. There was advertisement is coming. So I went there. So let me see what he is speaking. He is going to recite Brahma Gita. I was there for half an hour. All foolish, nothing there. No, nothing there. I was disgusted and come back. This way, people are misguided. Where to go? How to get Dibba Gyan? They have no idea. Like blind men, they are searching all around. They are searching all about. So, Bhagavan speaking, Je Madhavigyam Gurum Santam Upasitam Madhatmakam. This way you can. And about disciple, Bhagavan speaking, he should be very, uh, you know, full of patience. Full patience. And he should be very tranquil. What I was just I was speaking, that Shantam means there is no question of contamination of animal, no smell of matter. So that's why Shantam. And Bhukti, Mukti, Shiddhikami, they are all restless because they, they have some annavilas, desire. Matter, 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 all matter. Matter, in, maybe in fine form or in... You cannot believe me. Some cheetah sadhu there, in Vindavar, here and there. They have matter. Matter, but they are not going to expose. Matter is there inside their heart. Matter is there, inside their heart. Uh, they are doing very secretly, everything. They have matter. So many such sadhu, all caught by police, this that, but they belong ago. So, this way, matter can stay inside your mind in fine form. In fine form, matter can be there. It is also dangerous. When matter is there inside my heart in fine form, that is also dangerous. Like the suspension of water, suspension in air, you know, if you say microscope, you know, so many suspension, countless dust particles. When, when one beam of light com coming inside your room, when one beam of light coming inside, sunlight coming inside your room, if you watch from darkness, you can see the beam of light, there is countless dust particle there. You have seen, no? So, countless matter is there inside us. You think you are free of matter. But countless matters are there inside us, maybe in fine form. Maybe you are going to show that you are, you are, you are a renunciate, but matter is there. That's why Bhagavan Sri Krishna told, externally if you are going to leave matter, Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking in Gita, if externally you are going to leave matter, but internally you are going to think, then Bhagavan speaking, Mitha Charo Sauchate. Bhaiho Indriya Sanyammo Ja Manasa Aste Smaran. But Bhagavan speaking to Arjun, Yo, I mean the man, Yo, Bhaihendriya Sangyammo externally going to prove that all his sense organ is under control. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. Bhaihendriya Sangyammo Ya Bhaihendriya Sangyammo Bhaihendriya Sangyammo Ya Aste Manasas Maran Mentally he is going to think about matter, woman and everything all mentally. Then Bhagavan speaking, he is a cheater. Better to get matter externally, without any duplicity. Oh, yeah, I am Vishay, what to do? I am mad. I, without matter, I cannot say, I need these facilities. That is far better. Bhagavan speaking, 
those who are externally going to show the exhibition of renunciation, but internally if they are going to think repeatedly about matter, they are actually, Bhagavan speaking, they are mitha charo sauchate, they are actually cheater. They are actually cheater. They are actually cheater. So, disciples should think very carefully that Gurudev is going to help me. Hundred percent Gurudev can help me. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav that if Gurudev is Tattagyani, Tattagyani, then Gurudev can surely help you to live matter, provided you are ready to live matter. I mean, if there is no duplicity. If there is no duplicity, 100% Gurudev can help you to cut matter. I mean, to all matter can flow. Avidva. To cut Avidva, Gurudev is very efficient. Gurudev is very efficient to cut Avidva. Follow. Gurudev is very efficient. But, you are ready or not? Is there any duplicity inside you? Externally, you are going to approach Gurudev inside you, like to serve and you know, keep all matter backside. Then Gurudev cannot help you to cut. Evam Guru Pasanika Bhaktya Vidya Kutareno Siteno Dhiro Vibrisha Jiva Sayamayam Apramatto Sangrisha Atmanam Atho Tayo Astam. What speaking? Evam Guru Pasanika Bhaktya. What happens? Evam Guru Pasanika Bhaktya. This way, if you are going to worship your Gurudev from heart, Upasana, Upasana, this word, the literal meaning of Upasana is worship. The literal meaning of Upasana is worship. But the inner meaning is that Upo Asana. I mean, always you should stay in front of Gurudev. Mentally or physically. Physically not possible now, go on. Follow. Upasana means, in Sanskrit, if you split up, in Sanskrit, if you split up this word, then upo asana. Upo mane shamipe. You will have to keep your asana. You will have to keep your asana always in front of Gurudev. Never try to show the backside to Gurudev. We are so cheater. Just I started with this point, you can write. Popa told. You promised me to do bhajan. Now you are going to cheat me. Why? You promised me. That's why I give you. Now you are going to cheat me. I started with the same thing. If you are going to show the backside to Gurudev, I mean going to leave, avoid Gurudev, if you like to avoid Gurudev, very tactfully, Oh Maharaj! Then, Gurudev also can cheat you. You like to be cheated, na? You like to be cheated, Gurudev can cheat you. So, evam guru pasanai ka bhaksya. Upasana mane, upo, upo mane, in front. Like upokul. I am sitting in the upokul of Ganga, I mean, at the bank of Ganga, I am sitting. Upo mane, at the bank of Ganga. Follow. So, upasana mane, Upasana mini, Upasana means always you can stay in front of your Gurudev. When Gurudev gone from this world, mentally. I mean, you can never, you can promise that you are less interested to meet with Maya. That's mean Guru. If you are going to promise that I can never try to meet with Maya, that's mean you are always facing Guru. There is two things in the world, na? In the infinity world, there are two things. One is Guru, one is Logu. Logu means Maya. One is Guru means all items of Guru Seva, all Guru Dev, all. Guru, whatever you look, you can say Guru. I mean the item of Bhagavan Seva. 
So guru and logu. Logu means maya seva. So evam guru, guru pasanaika bhaktya vidya kutare no site no dhira vibrishya jiva sayamayam apramatto. All very nice. You can take the katar. Katar means utkata. Utkata it is written, you know. Evam Guru Pashonika Bhakta Vidya Kutareno. Kutar mean actually Katar. Evam Guru Pashonika Bhakta Vidya Kutareno. Siteno Dhiro. You can take the Katar of knowledge, Gyan, to cut Avidya. You can take the Katar of knowledge. Vidya, to cut avidya. So, evam guru prasanayika bhakta, vidya kothariyana sita, no sita mane very sharp, very sharp, you are going to take, and cut avidya. Like Parshuram, you see, with a cutter. So, Parshuram is there, no? as a cutter. So, evam guru prasanayika bhakta, Vidya kutare no site no dhira. Those who are dhir, dhir mean? They are peaceful. Those who are proceeding towards their goal, step by step to win the goal, I mean to meet the goal. They are dhira. Dhira mean? They have stability of mind. They are very clever. Step by step they are moving towards their goal of success in bhajan. Dhira. That's why in Upanishad we find, Hey, get up! Why you are sleeping? In Upanishad, Uttishtata Jagrata Prapa Parana Nivodhato Kurashadhara Nishitaya Durgam Patastat Kavaya Vadanti. You foolish, you are sleeping. Hey, get up! What do you mean by sleeping? Sleeping means you are not conscious about your. Self interest, I mean your absolute mangal. That is called Uttishtata. Get up, grow your consciousness. Why you are sleeping? Try to get up. Uttishtata Jagrata Prapa Barano. It is your due. It is waiting for you. It is due. Waiting for you. You can take it easily. It is waiting for you. It is really it is waiting for you. Why you are not taking? So it is written that Uttishtata Jagrata Prapa Barano, this kind of blessing, all this kind of blessing like to come to you. Waiting to give you. Why you are not taking? Prapa Barano Nibodhato. And you know it for sure. This material life. You are leading material life? If you are leading material life, be careful. You are moving on a sharp edge knife. A knife is there, very sharp edge. If somebody is going to speak, you put your leg here. You can put. Shot can cut. Two piece, like mango. <laughs> Immediately. You are going to run this kind of risks. Be sure. Be sure you are going to run this kind of risks of cutting your leg, heart, everything into pieces. What to do? You are inviting your problem and then crying in front of me. Why not coming to me before? What to do, what not to do? Now who is, who can be, eh? whom to blame? Now, that there is Tona. You are cutting your tongue by your teeth. You can file one case in the police station. <laughs> you can file one case. You cut your leg, at, I mean tongue, by your teeth. Or you can go to file police station, my teeth going to cut. <laughs> no way. So, same problem. So, it is written, Uttishyata, Jagrata, Prapa Bharana, Nibodhata. It's life, material life. It's just like walking over a sharp-edged 
knife, sword. This is your family life. But still you are not going to realize the actual sarup of this material enjoyment. Day and night you are hearing, but not going to touch your heart because, if, because of your passive attitude. Passive attitude. Lack of sincerity, you cannot digest everything. You are hearing. You are hearing, what kind of hearing? Hear from here and go from here. Sha, come here and go on from there. This hearing. So this way, you see, it is written that if somebody like to get realization power, he should be very careful. He can take the help of Guru Kipa, I mean he can get Guru Kipa, and take the shaw, the carter of, carter of Avidva. Avidya, how you can cut Avidya? By Vidya. Same. How I can cut, how I can cut Avidya? Plain answer, very easy. Avidya, you, Avidya can be cut, Avidya can be cut by Vidya. Like darkness can be, darkness can go away if you bring one light. Suppose for past 50 years, one room is dark and dark, Abandoned, abandoned for 50 years, nobody, 100 years, nobody cared to go there. It is a ghost house. But finally, when archaeological department coming with so search light, big mega war, ah, going to, going to enter, you can see everything what is there. Not that it was in drug, not that that building is abandoned from 100 years. Darkness is there for hundred years. That doesn't mean it will take another hundred years to, to, to arrange light there. Not that hundred years is even done. Okay, it's dark. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean it will take another hundred years to cut out darkness. Darkness immediately. You will bring the light in the room. That the very thing you cannot realize, that is your foolishness. That the thing you cannot realize, Bhagavan speaking, when you are really interested to get Gyan, then why not you take the cutter from Gurudev? You get cutter of knowledge and cut Avidya from the very root cause, you can cut and throw, so that Avidya cannot come. So Bhagavan speaking is not speaking, Evam Guru Pashanaika Bhakta Vidya Kutare no Sithe no Dhira Vibhrishya Jeeva Swayamayam Apramatha Apramatha means very alert. Apramatha is Sanskrit word, Bengali also. Pramatha, Apramatha. Two words. You can go back to Bhagavad Bhagavad Ji Mahaprabhu, first cantro. First cantro. There, all Naimi Sharan receives, Sanakadi receives, asking to Sutadev Goswami. Sutadev Goswami. Why Parikhit Maharaj is not going to kill Kali? Question you should remember. All Sanakadi receives, asking to Sutadev Goswami. Hey, Sutadev Goswami, why? Why Parikhit Maharaj is not going to kill? Parikhid Maharaj could easily kill. Parikhid Maharaj was so powerful, he could, he could easily kill Kali. Why? That is why now we are facing problem, Kali making problem. He could kill Kali much before. In the beginning of you know, Kali Yuga, 5,500 years back, why not kill him? Then the answer giving. Answer Sutadev Goswami is giving very, very nice answer. Sutadev Goswami is speaking, the Parikhit Mara thought that what is the utility of killing Kali? Because anyway, Kali, Kali has some special quality, na? So, what is the utility of, if I kill Kali, what I can gain? 
कलेर दोष निधे राजन अस्ति एक महान गुना है कलेर दोष निधे राजन अस्ति एक महान गुना है कित्तनाथ एवं कृष्णस्य मुक्त संग परम भजे वेल कोयल कोली इज अ सोर्स ऑफ ऑल बैड बट वन स्पेशल क्वालिटी देयर दैट आल्सो यू शुड कंसीडर व्हाट इज दैट only by chanting and doing hari naam sankirtan you can cross over this painful material ocean very easy because there is no possibility of austerity finances and a dhyan meditation jagya who can do is kali kal very poor if one time not taking prasadam become weak oh ekadashi fasting so become very weak kali kal na life power is very low So Shukdev Goswami is speaking. Shukdev Goswami is giving answer to I Shukdev no. Shutodev Goswami giving answer to Sanakadi Rishi. Sanakadi Rishi. That well, Koli is the source of all bad. Parikit Mala knew it very well because he is Ma Ma Bhagavat. We are knowing everything. Very clever, but. He didn't think it necessary to kill Kali. Anyway, there is one very, very special quality there. What is that? Kaler dosh nidhe rajan osti ek mahan gunaha kittanad eva kishnasya mukta sanga param bhaja. Only by chanting and doing sankirtan of Bhagavan Nam, one can cross over this painful material ocean. That is the that is that is that is the reason for why. Parikshit Maharaj didn't think it necessary to kill Kali, and Parikshit Maharaj also uh, also Parikshit Maharaj was thinking that time. That anyway, those who are not alert, that was the conception of that was the conception of Parikshit Maharaj. That was the special conception of Parikshit Maharaj. That anyway, those who are not alert. Those who are not at all alert, they are always no alertness. Anyway, they are going to put themselves into trouble. Those who are not alert, anyway they will be in trouble. So if I kill Kali or don't kill Kali, it matters little. It matters little whether I kill Kali or not going to kill. Because anyway they are not alert. Like so many devotees, you can find if thousands of devotees. None of them alert. If I look at your eyes, na. If I look at your eyes, after looking, I can understand you are alert or not. By the mercy of Guru Dev and Prabhupada, if I look at anybody, a devotee in the form of Acharya, I can can I can look at this? I cannot speak anything. Can realize is alert or not? If I if I look at Baman Gosi Maharaj. Immediately after looking, I can realize this is a great, gigantic personality. If I look at Bharti Maharaj, if I look at Tithu Gosi Maharaj, I can realize, but I cannot speak anything, good or bad. I can keep silence and go away from there. So alertness is not a matter of joke. Alertness is very important thing. Sincerity, alertness. From sincerity, alertness can come. From hundred percent sincerity, alertness can come. Alertness can help you to develop seva mood. So alertness can give you conception that life is unstable. Alertness, those who are alert, oh, is a, they can realize. So that was the conception of Parikhit Maharaj, special conception. The anyway, if I kill Kali or not going to kill Kali, what is concern to them? Anyway, they are not serious. Parikhit Maharaj thought that if I kill Kali or not, it matters little. What is? They are anyway they are not going to. Anyway, they are not going to get any benefit out of that. And at the same time, those who are alert. Those who are alert, so anyway they can get benefit. So what wrong in it? Shukta Goswami speaking. So Parikhit Maharaj thought those who are alert, anyway they are not going. Parikhit Shukta Goswami, I mean Shukta Dev Goswami speaking. 
Anyway, those who are alert, they can never be involved in problem. Alert. So, Parikhidma took a decision not to kill Kali. On the contrary, by the prayer of Kali, Parikhidma okay, allowed him to stay, okay? Stay. But don't be silly, foolish. Don't make any disturbance. Oh Maharaj, how I can leave? You can give me some space. Uh, this accommodation is very small. Punoscha jacho manayo jato rupam adat prabhu. Four places. They are already given place. Then he is crying, Maharaj, this small accommodation is not good for me. How I can live in a relaxed way? I want to live relaxed way. You please arrange. I know. Then, okay, you can say, Jata Rupam Adat Prabhu. After that, Koli is going to feel relaxed, but going to get a big place to stay and overpower you and me. Because Koli is very clever. Koli making problem. Tithu Kusama used to say very often. Very often, Tithu Kusama used to say, Bhakti Vala Tithu Kusama, that in Kali Kal, he used to say many times, I heard personally, that in Kali Kal, Kali cannot make you free. Kali can make problem in Mat Mandir. Even sadhus, they can fight with each other. Kali can arrange fighting, he used to say. Kali cannot allow you to... Kali cannot spare you. Kali can involve you. So, those sadhus, those sadhus in Mat Mandir, they all Kali can grab. He used to say, long ago. Or uh, everywhere, Kali can overpower, can make some it is just like capitalism, ism, you know, capitalism, or British Samrajyava, like British. Great Britain is not a big country, but they are so clever, they used to extend their power by controlling different countries, by politics. It's called Samrajyava. They used to get control over different world, different places, by their own power. India also, they took control over India. Everywhere. They are very powerful. So, Kohli is very clever. Day, day by day, Kohli is putting his very step by step, approaching towards his goal. What is goal? Make fighting with each other. Ah, there is all around fire, fighting and cutting, you know. Then Kali is very enjoying. Like those who are drunker, when they are drinking wine and watching dance, they become very happy. Same is the nature of Kali. Drunker, they are drinking. After they are watching naked dance, everything, they become very happy. This is the nature. Same thing. Koli, why happy? Koli is the nature of Kali. If Koli find that all sadhu fighting with each other, ah, no, and Kali is well, now I am successful, very good. Like one ghost. Ghost going to enter your body, ghost going to enter your body to overpower you. And by the help of your body, he can do something. Which he, which he or she, I mean, don't know, ghost is she or he. A ghost actually not pure Atma. That's why I cannot say that, you know, you know, that is she, I cannot say. But all Atma in pure condition, I can say they are she, not he. Shakti Tattva. But Atma, that ghost have some fine body, the fine body contaminated. He was in the form of man or woman, who can say? Like the case of Dundukari, Dundukari, Gokarni, Gokarnaji Maharaj coming from different pilgrimage, from different pilgrimage, Gokarnaji Maharaj coming to his own native land. 
after traveling different pilgrimage, when going to enter the village, that time it was almost night time. Night time, all people sleeping. So he didn't think it to disturb them. Okay, let morning time they can watch. So he took decision to come to his own abandoned old house. He cleaned the place. Okay, I can do bhajan here. He started doing bhajan there with one small lamp. But in the meantime, when 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, night time, deep night time, then the ghost coming and making problem. Hey, who are you? Ghost coming because ghost is his brother. Ghost was his brother, no? That idiot. Dundukari. Gokarnaji asked you, who are you? You are making disturbance? First of all, he is not giving answer, going to show the different kind of, you know, appearance like elephant, horse, this, that. Yes, sometimes can come in the form of white ho white snake. In Vrindavan, one of my god brother, is every day night when he is doing bhajan, snake coming, white snake. Finally, it was discovered that one man was killed there, is coming in the form of sand, white sand. Tolo. Can come. Finally, when Gokarnuji Maharaj asking, Who are you? Speak. Then he started crying and speaking, I am your brother. My name is Dhundukari. Ahom bhata tadiyasmi Dhundukari tinamata. Shakyen naiva doshena brahmattam nasitam maya. What speaking? He's speaking. Aham bhata tadiyosmi. I'm your brother. You can remember. My name is Dundukari. You are Dundukari? You are the... Yes. My karma fall was very bad. My karma fall was so bad. Now I am taking this ghost journey. Om Bhata Tadiyasmi Dhundukari Te Namataha Shakyen Noi Vadosena. It is I am responsible. I myself is responsible for the condition I am now put into. What to do? Then you please, you can save me. He is crying and praying to Gokarnaji Maharaj, you please save me. Follow. This way, going to pray. So, finally, Gokarnaji Maharaj, Maharaj started speaking Bhagavatam anyway, long story anyway. So, this way, he was saved. So, in fine form, ghost can be there. So, he cannot take any risks, we cannot say. So, this way, I was speaking, about the condition of disciple and guru. What is the condition of disciple and guru? So guru can anyway help you to cut your avidva. Avidva can cut. Provided you are sincere, and I already told, Parikhit Maharaj thought anyway they are in problem, those who are not sincere, those who are not sincere, you know, none of them can do bhajan. Thousands of so-called tilak malas, thousands, thousands. Okay. But they cannot get any result. Because according to Shastra, they are not sincere. They can put tilak mala, they can dance, they can eat, take a cake, patties, cake, everything can dance and move around. <laughs> That's up to them. Only they cannot get any I know for this absolute truth they can become angry with me. I know 100% they can become angry. But I will have to speak the truth. None of them sincere. Sincere in, in the whole Gauriya Vaishnava society now you search. You cannot find such a sincere devotee like Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj. You cannot find a sincere devotee of Bhakti Vala Maharaj. You cannot find a sincere and true devotees like Bhakti, Vedanta Bhavan Goswami, Maharaj. All the, that's so. 
but sincerity is not there. They cannot get any perfect result. They have to come and come and take birth again and again and again and again, cyclic order. Hello. So Parikhid Maharaj didn't think it necessary to keep Kali because sincerity, if not their sincerity, what is there? Anyway, they are going to take, take risks to travel, birth after birth anyway. So, if you are sincere, if Gurudev, I told three days ago, if, if Gurudev and Shishya almost matching, I mean, what you want, I mean, Gurudev heart, if matching, then it's very, Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking, then the interrelation between the Sadguru and Satsishya become very, very effective and successful. Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking to Uddhav, when, like Guru, like Shishya, almost, then in that case, the internal relationship, I mean, there, it become very successful. Because she is so going to enjoy the love, internal love of Gurudev. And she is so going to respect Gurudev from heart, Gurudev Atma. In that case, the matching combination, matching combination can flash out, can show the light to whole world. Matching combination. If not matching combination, you can try your best gradually to approach and approach and uh, try to reconcile. It will take time. Maybe birth after birth, who can say? But anyway, in this life, you are not successful to match your life, adapt your life. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya, Hidayata Kariya Vakya, Arna Kariya Manyasa, then you cannot get any result. Some result you can get, but not full result. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Uddhav, if you are sincere and Guru is Tattabhid, if you are sincere, very tranquil, no other, you like to get Kipa from genuine, then it is very easy for Gurudev to inculcate knowledge inside you. I mean, Avidya can cut. Avidya can cut. But after Avidya, but after Avidya gone, that Vidya also can put you in trouble. Avidya can take you negative way and Vidya can take you positive way. Both way problem can be there. Vidya can also can, you know, can make some influence on you to change your mood. It is written, Bhagavan Sri All your Vidya, Vidya can also can Change your mood. When you can change, you don't know. When you can change your mood, you don't know. Like the case of ex Basudev, so learned, so nice. Ex Vidavino, talented, really talented, ex exclusive talent, extraordinary. But, but what happened? Their Vidya, their Vidya wanted to throw them away from Guru Padma. They went away. What is the fault they have seen in the life of Prabhupada? I like to catch their lotus feet and request. Please speak me. I like to learn. What kind of fault you have seen in the life of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada? Or you develop your Avidya again. When you are going to cut Avidva by Vidva, be careful. Don't take any rest. If you are going to cut Avidva by the power of Gurudev, okay, by, by the help of Vidya, you are going to cut Avidva. But don't take rest. Again, Avidva can enter into you. Again, Avidva can come tomorrow, today, or tomorrow. Like the case of Ex Vasudevande. Why? How possible? So knowledgeable person. Anything they can remember. Oh. By the power of Gurudev, by the power of Gurudev, I am going to develop my life, bhajan life. But someday, due, due to my 
success, if I become papta, then I can again fall down. All coming from Guru Pad Padma. You have no capacity, no credit. I can discuss tomorrow anyway. Today, I like to stop here. Tomorrow, I can say to cut Abhidva, it's not a big issue. If you are sincere, Tattavid, Guru can cut. But to cut Vidya, you will have to extend your hand. Both ways. Guru can help you, you can also. Don't understand what I say. To cut Abhidya, Gurudev can do it. Without your, you are sincere. Without your personal effort. You have no personal, you only expect Gurudev, you cut. But it's sincere, 100%. Then Gurudev can cut. But to cut Vidya inside you, both way, Gurudev can help you, you will have to extend your hand. Vidya, magic spell. If you are on your part, you are not going to extend your hand, Gurudev cannot. It's not possible. Because Jivatma, all Jivatma, they have some liberty, no? All Jivatma, they have some free will. So, all Jivatma has. Gurudev can save me. Provided I am inclined not to. Gurudev cannot save me if I am not inclined. How we give them? So tomorrow I can discuss about how Sadguru can help his disciple to cut both Abhidva and Vidva. And to cut Vidva, what all other procedure, what kind of special effort should be there on the part of disciple that I can help tomorrow. So, what I started with, huh? eh? Huh? No, no. That foolish. Huh? Naham ijja prajati bhyam. Naham ijja prajati bhyam tapaso upasami nava. Tushyam sarva bhutatma guru susho sayayatha. Naham ijja prajati bhyam tapaso upasami nava. Tushyam sarva bhutatma guru susho sayayatha. Vancha kalpatur was a kibas in the bhavija. Patitana pavana bhu. Vishnu bhu namun. Kitan, you do.
हरी बोल निता